In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own custom elemental shape dividers such as this one that you see on the screen without writing any code and without using a complex software such as Adobe Illustrator. You can also make a vertical shape divider such as this one for your elemental sections. This is quite simple. Without writing any code, I'll show you how easily it can be done. Coming up, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Karthik a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. On Design School, I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners so that they can build amazing WordPress websites with ease. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get to the tutorial. Open up any page, post or a template by clicking on Edit with Elementor. And once you're in the Elementor interface, it can be any template. You can see that Elementor already has few built-in shape dividers which are under the style tab of each and every section but by this method that i'm going to show you you can do shape dividers for your columns and even widgets if you really like to so there's an app called blob maker i already showed this you can generate blobs you can also use this as your image masks you can also use these blobs wherever you want in your elementor interface but anyway you can see that there's a link to another app called Haikai. It's H-A-I-K-E-I. -E so once you go to that app, it's a free tool, online tool. You can simply click on start designing for free and you're taken to this graphical interface where you can design your custom shape divider. Now there are tons of options to start with. You can pick the canvas size, which you can leave it at default. It doesn't matter anyway. You can pick the type of style for your wave. You can pick a solid wave. You can pick the peaks of the wave. Maybe you can pick a stepped one, a wave and the one with peaks. I'll just pick wave for now. And you can also specify the direction for your wave. Horizontal, vertical, left and right. And Elementor custom shape divider or Elementor's built-in shape dividers only allow you to use top and bottom shape dividers but with this method you can do left and right shape dividers if you wish to or vertical shape dividers and then comes the color section this is really important there are tons of options but you have to pick the one that has a background right so this has a background and what we are essentially going to do is to customize it the way we want I'll change the colors of this I'll change the second color now you can also punch in your hex code based on your brand value. You can adjust the balance. You can adjust the wave count. You can adjust the complexity. You can adjust the contrast. You can also adjust the overlap. And once you finish all this, all you have to do to make it a custom shape divider is to choose the background and click on the eye icon. So the background becomes transparent which means this can be used as a custom shape divider, which we're going to do. So there's an option to click and download it as an SVG at the bottom right of the screen. Simply click that and this particular pattern is saved as an SVG, which can then be uploaded to your Elementor interface. Now, if SVG is not enabled on your Elementor interface, you have to enable it at the back end under advanced settings, right? Under settings and advanced tab, you can enable unfiltered uploads. Basically, these are SVG files that you can upload directly. SVG files are lightweight. They don't take up much of, much space. And no matter how much you scale them, they won't lose quality. So you should enable this and click on save changes for this to function. So once you download the SVG file, click on any section, go to background and under image, just click on choose image and just upload the current SVG that you've downloaded. We have downloaded this SVG. So I'm just going to upload that to my site. Since we've enabled SVG filtered uploads, this will be uploaded. If not, it will give you a warning and you have to enable it. Click on insert media. And just like that, we have our wave. Now there are tons of options once you upload the image. You can pick where you want the wave. I want it at the bottom center. Attachment, you can leave it at default. If you say no repeat, it takes up the default size. So we're going to say, or you can say no repeat and then do cover so that it covers the full length. You can see that even when we stretched out our SVG, it doesn't lose any of the quality. 
you can play with these settings you can do contain contain will essentially take up the actual space but cover will completely cover the svg and based on your parameters adjust these and you can also make it repeat long x axis we have a slight sharp peak so you can see that in here you can also adjust the canvas size maybe you can have a 1000 pixel wide it doesn't matter but once you have repeat it will automatically cover it or you can pick cover so that will make it more uniform and more proper and just like that we made our custom shape divider which is really neat and you can see how it looks on various devices click on responsive mode and there you have it on mobile device and there you have it on tablet device and make sure you are also adjusting the colors of the content that are overlapping with the shape divider right so that way you'll have proper contrast between various elements i'll just click back to my desktop mode so there we have our shape divider you can also adjust the size you can pick a custom size for your shape divider and you can make it no repeat Maybe you can have a 100% wide shape divider. If you have a smooth pattern, you can simply repeat it. But I have a sharp peak. So if I'm trying to repeat it, or you can simply repeat it along X direction and you have a horizontal shape divider, right? You don't need it along Y direction. You just need to repeat it horizontally. So that way you can have this sort of pattern. And then you can change the width. You can adjust the way you want it. And just like that, we made our custom shape divider, which is really awesome. All we did was to generate our shape using this free online tool. Now let's do another one. Let's do the layered step one again, the same process, just customize the colors and the directions. I'll pick color, which is related to my branding color. I'll reduce the balance, I think. I want it really at the bottom. I want a little bit of more contrast. Again, I'll download, forgot to make the background transparent. I'll make the background transparent and click on download. Again, the same thing. Just go to the page and I'll just click on the section. Go to the style tab. I need to upload the file that we generated, which is essentially an SVG file. It's this file. Just click on open. You can repeat it along X direction. You can make it contain. And just like that, we have our custom shape divider for our section. And the cool thing about this is that you can have the shape divider even for your column. So I'll remove this shape or whatever image for this section. I'll just click on this column. Go to style tab. Again, you can do the same thing. You can pick background. You can click this classic background for the column. Again, upload. And just like that for our column, we have a custom shape divider. Now, let me end this by making a vertical shape divider. All we have to do is to go to the direction and make it a vertical shape divider by picking this. You can play with a lot of shapes. You can play with this shape or even this shape, but I'm happy with this shape. And let's also reduce the contrast a bit. And I'll just click on download. My background is transparent. You can see that from this transparent pixels. So once the shape divider is downloaded, again, go back to your website. Maybe I just want it for this section. Again, background, image, upload the image. And it's this one, open up, insert. And we have to adjust the background shape properly for vertical because for horizontal shape dividers, you can do bottom, right? If you do center, center, you see it's not properly aligned. You have to do bottom center for this or even bottom left or bottom right would do. Essentially, we are placing this image at the bottom so that it's acting as our shape divider. Now we'll do the same for the vertical shape divider. I'll just click on this position. It has to be onto the right. So maybe at center right, I'll remove the repeat. 
or else I'll just repeat it along y direction so that the shape divider is spread across the y direction right and you can adjust the other stuff but since we repeated it I don't think you need to adjust all of this stuff or make you maybe you can do custom width of the shape divider so based on your personal preference customize this image and just like that you have a vertical shape divider for your section within no time and this is just one of the many design tips I have more like these coming up and which one would you use and how would you use them let me know what you guys think in the comments down below also let me know if you want to see more design oriented tutorials such as this one i'll catch you in the next tutorial see ya